Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play... Write your own theme song. No, Pokemon Ranger. Um, so <laughs> Murph, you're so silly. Um, basically, uh, we're going to be doing the Marine Capture Challenge in this episode. Because we did the Grassland Capture Challenge, or the Field Capture Challenge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in, the, in the last episode. We did really well, actually. So, uh, let's go catch some water Pokemon today. We have a lot of water Pokemon to capture, and... Uh, Hopefully we can get them all. This one, the Marine Capture Challenge actually is, in my opinion, the harder of the two captures, uh, of, of the two capture challenges. Because most water Pokemon, uh, they basically sh are underwater, and it's really hard to tell which Pokemon are which, which makes capturing specific ones pretty difficult. Um, and there's a lot of those kind of, you need to capture two Pokemon to get another Pokemon sort of craziness going on there. However, we actually got some of the bigger Pokemon ready. Uh, you can get stuff like a Gyarados and a Kingdra, which we already got for the main story. So we don't have to worry too much about those. I'll try to show them off if I can, but uh, we have a Capture Challenger. It's the same rules basically as before, except we're riding a Lapras instead of a Doe Duo. And uh, we get some Sea Dwelling Pokemon. It's it's pretty interesting. The other thing that's kind of tricky is the fact that uh, all the Pokemon actually take, uh, a lot of the Pokemon only take like one or two loops to capture. Which means you can't really run away from the fights without capturing them. Which seems like a good thing, but sometimes you're like, okay, I need to find like a certain medium-sized Pokemon, and then you catch a couple of small ones in order to get to trigger, and you capture the wrong ones, and suddenly a bunch of medium-sized Pokemon that you don't want have spawned, making it harder to find the one that you do want. If that makes any sort of sense, it probably doesn't. You'll probably see as we go. But I'm going to spend this one capturing a bunch of the uh, somewhat easier to get... There's like one that just spawned right here. What are you? Probably actually go for this one too if it's a it's a magic carp okay magic carp you get five of them uh post game it gives you a gyarados if i can show that off at some point i will but it's not really that important to me because we already got that in our browser but i want to get you star you because if you catch your two star you well you can imagine what spawns so that's one thing i want to take care of uh on this early one because that's a fairly easy one to get there's a couple other pokemon that i need to get as well so uh it's going to take several leads to actually get everything I need. Uh, I'm just going to capture everything I see, really. Uh, getting two ma Maybe I get the Magikarp one this time. Catch on this Magikarp already but might be a, a viable possibility. Not really too helpful to do for this, but for right now, we're just trying to capture the, to break the uh, the record going on here, which is something we can do. What are you? We're actually finding a ton of Magikarp. Maybe I, I guess I'll go for the Gyarados right now. I mean, I've already caught three Magikarp. It's kind of... Uh, Actually, not that common. Usually, I find a lot more Goldeen than Magikarp. But today, it's today is Magikarp Day, guys. I also want to find another Staryu, which is actually right here. So now, uh, a new Pokemon will spawn. That's handy dandy, Dutch. So we'll uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Stop, 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 stop. You stop it. Staryu is probably one of the easier ones to capture, but just because it's one you can't actually tell exists because it's above water. So that's kind of helpful. Um, anything in the deep water we don't want to get right now, for reasons. You're probably a Goldeen. Actually, I got two Pokemon in this thing. Uh, I believe one's probably going to be an Octillery, right? No, a Seedra, wow! Um, surprising, because you usually don't get Seedra really easily in this. Uh, Seedra, actually, in my first Ranger game, was the last Pokemon I ever captured, because it took me so long to find it, so... Glad we got that out of the way already. Goldeen's not anything too important right now. Um, there's a Starmie, so you get two Star you get a Starmie to a spawn, which is kind of cool. So I'll go ahead and capture that right now. Starmie, get over here! Uh, if you capture two Goldeen, something will spawn as well. But I'm not too concerned about that one right now, just because you need to capture two of what spawns. Well, okay, it's a Sea King, basically. And you need to capture two Sea Kings to get something else to spawn, so... Also, this guy will tell you stories. So, uh... Basically, he'll, he'll tell you some stuff about how to get things, like Wilmer! And, uh, so apparently, Sea Pokemon, Goldeen, and Sea King, and then, uh, they, they talk about a Wilmer. So, we need two Sea King to get a Wilmer, basically. That's something we'll do later on. I'm looking for more Magikarp if I can get that in this one, that'd be cool. A horsey! That's also very, that's also new. Uh, if you capture two Horsey, supposedly, you get a Kingdra to spawn. So that's something I'm going to try to do as well. That'll be interesting. Uh, so, Starmie I'm not too concerned with. I want to get some of these smaller Pokemon so I can try to get something else to 
happen. What are you down there? Okay, Magic Carp is good. What, are you, what about you? You're another Seedra, so I actually got two of them. Well, that's fine for me. More points means I can beat the Capture Challenge, hopefully, and do this. I need to get one more Magic Carp, because you need five of them. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not going to deal with your crap. Anyway, uh, are you a Magic Carp by any chance? Ah, Goldeen. Come on, hurry up and get out of the water so I can capture you. And 30 seconds to find another Magic Carp. Pressure's on. Pressure is on. Oh, there's a Pokemon in the lower right hand corner that we. I'll just star you and other guys. You're a big guy, I don't need you. You're. Bi oh my god, there are so many. Magic Carp! Magic Carp, Magic Carp, Magic Carp. Yes! Okay, so we have like 20 seconds to capture a Gyarados. Yeah, I hear Magic Carp. Okay, we have like 15 seconds. I don't even know where it spawns. I've never gotten a Gyarados through the capture challenge before. Truth be told. So, star me. Why you gotta be like that? Nope. Eight seconds. Gyarados. 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 I don't know if it spawns underwater or not, too. That's the thing. Gyarados. Ayo. So we actually got ourselves a Gyarados in this capture challenge. That's pretty exciting stuff, but uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to capture like this. If I can get rid of the Star You, that'd be great. Star You, I don't need you here. Uh, let me go. Go away. You're gonna make the Gyarados unspawn. No. Uh, it's annoying to have two Pokemon in here. Come on. Let me capture you. This Star Me is causing all sorts of problems. Two, three, four. Ah! I cannot get the star me! Or the star you! Oh my god, I'm like losing all my health here too. Everything has gone horribly wrong. You done shooting water yet? Oh come on! That was a full loop! There we go, it's gone. Now to focus on this guy. Which we're just gonna need to basically just wait for it to do this. And there we go, we got ourselves a Gyarados! So, uh, I mean, we already have that in our thing, technically, so that's not actually too exciting. Okay! I'm fairly sure the capture challenge is over, but... I mean, if you insist, I'll take extra points, it just means I beat the challenge and let's get the uh, extra Pokemon to spawn. So, that's exciting. 7,400 points, definitely, definitely going to be good enough. So, we got the Gyarados on our first round, not too bad. I mean, I wanted to demonstrate it anyway, so... And we got ourselves a Starmie as well. That's nice. Um, so there's a couple other Pokemon I can go for this time. Uh, especially, uh, including the new Pokemon that we've unlocked by beating the Capture Challenge. So... Let's uh, go ahead and do that. But... How do I, how do I want to start this one off here? Uh, I don't need Staryu. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get this one as well in this episode. So we're going to get some Remoraids that are actually in the water, in the deep in the, the deep water. So if you want to catch Remoraids, look for the deep water. That's where you get them. I think we want to get three of these. I mean, officially the guide that I have says two, but I couldn't get this, this thing to spawn until I had three. So maybe it might be three. I'm going to catch three just to be safe. Um, sometimes it just takes a little bit of extra Pokemon to get things to spawn, I guess. So we'll capture you. It's pretty fine and dandy. And I guess you're probably another Remoraid too. If they sing go to water, they're definitely going to be the Remoraid and or Art Artillery family. Which, there are Artilleries here too. Um, you don't need to capture Remoraids to get them to spawn. They actually will spawn their own. So if you see a medium-sized shadow in a dark area, that's an actual uh, an Artillery. As long as we're here, we might as well pick one up. So, if I could find one. Also, Pelipper's down here. Uh, you can't really capture it unless you, uh, the way you want to do, you know, actually want to get the, the thing to happen. Or, or it, sometimes it comes low enough, but... You can also use other Pokemon like Staryu here in order to uh, get it to spawn. So if I can just quickly get rid of the Staryu once again. The problem with using Staryu is then you have a Staryu to deal with. Okay, so Pelipper is actually really tough to capture, but as long as you keep dodging its attacks, it'll be okay. 765, okay. Ah! I couldn't get the bike capture line out of the way fast enough. Okay, five left, I can probably get. Oh no, it hit my line! Pelipper! Pelipper! Stop! Oh crap, it's gonna run away. Got it! Okay, so that's the uh, that's Cameron's Pokemon. 
We've actually officially captured all the leader's Pokemon now, which is pretty exciting. So, we got that out of the way. Uh, I want to try to find Octillery, except there's no big shadows in this area. Well, this is the one we're looking for. Mantine! You get that for uh, getting multiple Remoraids, so... Um, that's good to have. We got another Pokemon that we need to out of the way. So, that takes care of Mantine. I'm still trying to look for an Octillery, but for some reason, for some... That just surprisingly, they're not here right now. Which is... a thing. Maybe it's down... Okay, this looks like an Octillery different to me, so... Yep! We'll add that to our browser, because we don't have that one yet. Exciting stuff. So yeah, now we're not... I mean, we don't go for... We're not going for high scores anymore at this point, obviously. We're just going for browser filling. It's kind of cool how they have this sort of section for browser filling that happens around here. So, Octillery is done. There's two other Pokemon that we can add to our browser really quickly before this challenge is over, so let's go ahead and do that. And then all we really have to deal with is, is uh, showing off how to get Kingdra, just for funsies, and getting the Whelmer. So if you head down this lower right, you'll get to like a foggy sort of section where you'll see Carvanha. You'll also find a Sharpedo. So, Sharpedo obviously we haven't added to our browser yet. Carvana we did, just because uh, we had that one part uh, during the Kyogre mission that had Carvana in them, so... I'll just capture another Carvana just for fun and giggles, I suppose, though. So, there's a Carvana. Let's just grab it. Just for funsies, because why not? Uh, as you can see, this Marine Capture Challenge, I think, takes a little bit longer than the Field Capture Challenge to get everything. So, it's interesting. So, we got ourselves a Sharpedo. The only other thing we can add to our inventory here are these Love Discs, um, which actually show up a minute into the challenge. So... However, if multiple of them spawning, it's kind of a bit tricky. Wait for one to just sort of get separate and then just capture them one at a time, like this. So, they actually are worth a ton of points. If you want to get points really fast for uh, your high score, Love Disc are the way to go. And that actually will end the... Oh, I didn't capture you. Well, that's okay. I'll capture you right now. Come here, pretty. There we go. So... Wait, wait what? There we go! Jeez. Apparently... I keep thinking I've captured them, and I apparently haven't. So, uh... You get a ton of love discs. They're worth 700 points apiece, which is actually really nice. It's over 9,000! I think we just beat our high score again. It's pretty impressive. So, uh... I had to make that reference. So, yay! More confetti rains down from the sky. So, like I said, we need Whalmer. It's actually the only Pokémon that we haven't added to our browser. And then I'll, show, I'll try to show off how to get a Kingdra. However, horsey are kind of rare, so it's Kingdra is definitely a hard one to get. So I'm not necessarily sure that that's going to happen. But we'll certainly try. Why not, you know? So we're looking for Goldeen today. Well, Goldeen or Horsey. So we're looking for these small targets and hoping they're not Magikarps, because Magikarps are not good. I may have just moved my mic a little bit, so uh, I'm not sure if that was audible or not. If it was, oh well, that's part of the recording. Blah! So that's one Goldeen. Hopefully this is another Goldeen, we'll just get right to it right now. Or Horsey, maybe we can get both. That'd be really good to get both. I'd be okay to get both. So that takes care of the Horsey. One Horsey, one Goldeen down. So one Horsey and one Goldeen and two Seeking to go. So look for another small shadow. Hope it's not Magikarp. It's a Magikarp. Magikarp are basically failure today. Because we don't need Magikarp. So just capture it. It takes one loop, so you have really have no choice but to capture it. And then you move on and find a different small shadow. Maybe you're a Goldeen. Or a Horsey, so there we go. With two Horsey out of the way, uh, Kingdra's should supposedly spawn. Maybe it takes three. If it takes three, I'll go look for another Horsey. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's not Seedra either. I'm pretty sure you just need to find Horsey and that's it. So, I mean, arguably, Kingdra should be spawning now. And here's another Goldeen, so now Sea King should be spawning as well. So that's good. Uh, making good progress. I'm more concerned, obviously, about the Sea King than I am about the, uh, the Kingdra, but I will take what I can get. What, what's down here? Eh, don't need you. Actually, I, te I technically don't need any small targets now at all. I mean, I could look for more Horsey just to hopefully, because sometimes the spawn rates are weird, so I'm a little cautious about those, but, um, these are some big targets. Let's go ahead and capture these, although I got a small one there as well. Hopefully this is a Sea King. Um, that looks like a Seeking to me. So, come on. Spawn already. There we go. We got them both. That's one Seeking out of the way. We just need one more, and Whalemore should spawn. It'll be a giant shadow, just like Mantine was. So, hopefully this is the Seeking we need. 
Or there's the Kingdra we need. So I guess Kingdra is just a medium shadow of all things. Interesting. Well, we may as well go ahead and capture it. I um, mean, we have caught these before, but it's kind of cool just to show off the capture challenge. And it also shows how many points they're worth then, in case anyone's curious. So, how many points are Kingdra worth? Also, we only have a minute and 15 seconds to get the rest of the stuff we need. So, I better probably hurry. Um, 2,300 points, though. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to assume this is a Sea King because it's running away. Yep. Generally, if they run away, they tend to be of the Golden Sea King family, I've noticed. So... That takes care of another Sea King. This should cause Wilmer to spawn. We have a minute to find it. I feel like we are in good shape for finding it. Just in case, I'm going to capture this other Sea King just to ensure that it has spawned. Because I like to play it safe. It's Spawn rates can be weird sometimes, so I tend to play things safe when I can. Because it's good! So, uh, we're looking for a ginormous shadow right now. And trying to avoid this mofo over here. There are a ton of giant... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like a humongous shadow, not like a normal-sized shadow, so... Shoot, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And I mean, I don't want to be doing these big shadows and not end up being the Wilmer. I'm pretty sure it's a giant one. So, crap, I don't know where it is. Is it you? Or are you just a Sea King? You're just a Seedra. Crap. Well, hurry me get out of here so I can run away. Bye! 11 seconds, okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Star you. I don't need you. There we go, I need you! Another last second find! There's the Wilmer. And the Wilmer is actually kind of tough to capture, though, so... We're gonna have to make sure we actually get it here, because it shoots out little water specks that do actually damage your stat line, so you have to be really careful when capturing this guy. Or just... Yeah, he usually does it a bit more often than that. But there we go! We've actually gotten everything we need for the uh, the Marine Capture Challenge. Huh. Both of these Capture Challenges went extremely well! I've never had these Capture Challenges go this good before. El Pier's luck today. So we have pretty much... All the things in the browser that we need. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and... We'll, we'll, since we're at this point, we'll go ahead and check the browser. And just to show off... Um, there's still, you know, a lot of Pokemon we do need. But these are ones we'll have to actually have to go find out in the wild here. But, uh... Can I just... Like, how do I, Can I scroll down faster than this? Jeez. I guess I just hold this in. Yeah, there we go. So there's still a bunch of Pokemon that I need to capture. But... Uh, we will be able to do that. So, there's going to be a bunch of extra videos here where I just go around capturing Pokemon. However, we have three over here. And that's going to be the focus for our next episode, guys. So this is Lucky7DX, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next episode where it's time to start going around catching and just filling in these gaps in our browser. We have some interesting ones to get next time. Probably going to take about two or three videos. And that'll actually, well, I'm not going to, that's actually not going to wrap up the project yet. But, uh. We'll get to it. So, like I said, yeah, sign out. Like I said, see you guys next time from a Pokemon Ranger. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm recording this after the current episode because a lot of people mentioned in my previous episode that uh, you can get a Rapid Ash, which indeed you can do if you catch two Splank. So I figured since there's a little bit of extra time in this uh, episode, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and just catch up with the Rapid Ash, and we'll go from there. I may or may not do something afterwards as well. We'll just see how long it takes me to catch a Rapid Ash. So I mean, we've seen Rapid Ash before. It's not really, it's not a new Pokemon, just because we actually saw one, uh, a, Gor a Gorok Squad member had it, but I guess you can get one, so for the sake of showing it, I'm gonna show it. You know, that's just, that's just how I roll. So, allons-y, guys, it's time to catch yourselves a horsey. I don't know if I ever would have said that ever else in my life. Then again, I kind of did with that freaking, uh, there's a dog fan there, too. I guess I can catch a Dawn fan just for shits and giggles. Catch a Tangler for shits and giggles. Let's let's catch a Tangler for shits and giggles. Just because, I don't know. Just to show their point worth. I haven't really done that, so... I guess this is like field capture the stuff I missed section at the end of a video that was supposed to be independent of this. Yay! <laughs> so, I know there's a Splink right here. Can we get it without attracting the Pharaoh's attention, please? 
I don't want the Pharaoh's attention, please. Spoink! Get away from the... Step away from the summoner! Alright, fine. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. We'll just, we'll just catch... We'll just do this. Capture it. And then go, hi, bye. Because as you can see, that still catches the Spoink. So, nuts to you, game. Uh, we'll get a Dom fan just for shits and giggles. I'm not sure where another Spoink is. Probably somewhere down south, I would imagine. But anyway, here's how much points a Don fan is worth. Hi, 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 friend. Friend! Friend, you're hurting me, friend. Friend, you're not very nice. Wow, I fit. Why can't I catch a Don fan suddenly? Why am I so bad at video games, guys? Questions that will never be answered. There we go. So now I only have a minute and a half to capture this. Naturally, when I'm doing recording this on a different day, I just can't capture for shit anymore. All of my luck at capturing has just suddenly vanished into the Nether Spear. Okay, where where can I find me another Spoink? There's a Sparrow. There's a Don Fan. The question is, where is the Spoink? You're probably not a Spoink. The Spoinks would bounce around anyway. All right, come on. Let's let's not be bad at video games, please. There's an Abra. There's a Spoink. Found it. Found it. So the only thing is find the Rapidash, and we're good to go. So wasn't really super concerned, but no, stop. I need to hurry. No. Gah! So bad at video games. There we go. It's a good thing to know that I've lost all of my capturing prowess already. So let's go hunt. Die. Hi. Friend, how are the wife and kids? Good, good. All right, so where does Rapidash show up? Oh, well, there, it's right there. So, hi, friend. You're a pony, and I'm going to catch you. These things are kind of hard to catch, though, if you remember, because they kind of spread embers all sorts of everywhere. So you got to kind of be careful with capturing them, but there we go. So, that's a Rapidash is worth a whopping 1,600 points. So, not bad. So, demonstrated that. That's that's good enough for today. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. And the answer is stuff I can just do next episode. So, once again, this is me signing out once again. That was a weird phrase. But, uh... I just felt I'd show off the stuff I missed in there, just for people's sake, because people were like, Hey, you didn't show that off, and you were right, I didn't. So, that was that was my mistake, and I've rectified it! So, once again, we'll catch some cool Pokemon next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.